I know, my hair is all wet because I just took a shower and I haven't shaved, I've been very busy, don't judge me. How would you go about making puppets slash a set if you're on a budget? I currently don't really have a job and I want to try making the puppets and stuff, but I'm worried about money. Any tips? Find any materials you have in your house already and just see what you can make out of it. Or if you don't really have any materials you can make stuff out of, get like the cheapest things you can from the store and see what you can come up with. It'll be worth it, trust me. Why are you always wearing headphones in these comments vids, Cran Man? Because they're comfy. And, and I can hear myself so I don't sound like an idiot. I might already sound like an idiot. Your socks are fanflabbous! Just saying. Thanks. Cran, your hair looks like a Justin Bieber miscarriage. That's a compliment. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Cran, have you taken classes on animation or are you self-taught? Sorry if you already answered this kind of question. I am self-taught. All of, the, all of the things I know about animation, I learned from books and just doing it. And also, side note, uh, just for the future, if if you have a question and it doesn't show up in the video and you keep asking it, I've probably already answered it in a previous one, so check back if, if you want an answer. Crabner, sure. Set up a P.O. box, you silly goober. But then I'd have to do stuff. <laughs> Crabner, sure. What's your favorite band? I must know. Mumford and Sons. That banjo just gets to me. Where do you not live? Antarctica. Too cold. Hey, Crambisher, you probably remember me from Twitter. I made the animation of that guy with the TV head waving high. But anyway, how long does it take you to edit comments for Crambisher? A few hours, I think. Depends on, like, the questions and if I want to do something special for a certain question or stuff like that. My hair is a mess. Anyway, yes, I do remember you. You're doing a good job with your stuff. Crambisher, have you ever needed to wear glasses or do you have near perfect vision? I have near perfect vision. Everything's supposed to look like blurry blobs, right? Right? HIGH FIVE! What do you do if your puppet breaks down in the middle of an animation? You perform puppet surgery. I actually had to do that during, uh, Stranded Deep. Mark's arm broke, and I had to give him a new arm. Fun. Is that a puppet just staring at the camera in the background of the comments? Looks like you predicted the future. How big is your workspace? Do you use a single table for your animations, or multiple ones for different areas and rooms? Okay, so here, here's... you'll see it, my workspace. Well, let me see if you can see that. Yeah, that's my workspace. It's just a table. It's like four by eight foot. That thing, that thing right there is the top down view camera stand that I use to record some of the Crambisher's guide. And then there's some lights and a fan. Hey, Crambisher! <laughs> I made my own felt puppet of myself and I want to show it to you. Which social media should I put it on that you might see it? Uh, I mainly check Twitter, so you should put it on Twitter if you have a Twitter. Or if not, face. No, wait. Tumblr? <laughs> Maybe. Oliver! Cran! Bursher! You little... Brah. Anyway, another little quest quest for you. Do you prefer rainy days, sunny days, or windy days? Or nighttime. I would say rainy days, but I always feel really sleepy on rainy days. So, more, li more like sunny days, because I actually get stuff done. How do you make the musics? That's one way. Cran, what if you want to start animating but you don't have space and your mom might get mad at you if you start drilling holes in things for a work table? I'd probably just start out with some clay and try and just keep it on the table. You don't have to drill any holes. Just mold around some clay and see what happens. I know this was asked in an older Q&A, but I was wondering if you are really going to PAX East. Also, thanks Cran for being amazing. No problem, I'm not really that amazing, but thanks anyway. And yes, I'm going to PAX East officially, hopefully, maybe. All three days. So if you go... I'll be there, maybe. Probably. Crambisher, I'm curious, what were your favorite video games growing up? My, I think my most favorite video game was Super Mario World. It was before my time, but I had the port on the, uh, the Game Boy. And it was great. Cranber Flurbiter! Flurbiter! Would you ever consider doing custom orders of puppets for people? The thing about this is, there are currently over 50,000 of you. So, I'm one person. That's difficult. Sorry. Bleh. Can you beat Jacksepticeye's dancing skills? Jack, you and me, PAX East. Bring it. Or, or not, you don't, it's up to you. Have you ever considered compiling your music into an album to sell? I don't have Twitter, so I don't know if you have R already, but if not, then please do. Your music is pretty awesome. I don't have enough to put into a full album, but if I eventually have enough to put into a full album, then sure. Sure.
Do you ever plan on using a silicone slash latex puppet in one of your animations? I already did that. The 476 puppet was made of silicone, except for the head, that was clay. And it was terrible, because it was the first time doing that. And I rushed it. It was terrible. Have watched your original animations and was wondering if you have any plans for more. Love your YouTuber animations, but you can't get better than pure originality. Are you real? Sorry, it's just that, uh... Since mostly I've been making YouTuber animations, and those are the ones that most people find and come to this channel because of, it's kind of discouraging to make original stuff because you f I feel like everyone expects me to be making YouTuber stuff, and then if I come out with something original, it'll be like, what the hell is this? Make more things for these people, okay? So, I don't know. It's, it's nice to know that you're actually looking for something original. And yes, there will be some, and it'll be really weird, so look forward to it if you do. Thanks again. All right, that's it for this comments video. Leave any more comments down in the comment section. I'll possibly end up in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye.